If there is a heaven, okay. No, no, no problem. But if there's no heaven, the Buddha said, the reason to be good is because it is good to be good. Because when, don't, don't think about doing good because of reward. You know yourselves that whatever good you do, how do you feel? So that is your meaning in life. That you, you must feel good. So that happiness is not something to look for in the future, but the Buddha teaches us happiness is something we need to create here and now. That's why Confucius said, understand birth. Uh, and, and if you live a happy life, it makes a lot of sense. You are good, you are good, you are happy, you are compassionate. You, your whole life, you have been good, happy, compassionate, you have helped other people and all that. When you die, if there is a heaven, do you need to worry? No. You'll go to heaven. If there is no heaven, not to worry. You have been good. And you have created happiness in this life. On the other hand, if you have not been good, yeah, not only is hell waiting for you on the other side, but even if there is no hell, you created your hell here. In Buddhism, heaven and hell are not after you die. Heaven and hell are here and now. When you are happy, that's hell. Maybe that calls for a story. Once upon a time, long, long ago, far, far away, <laughs> in Japan, there was, a, some, there was an old monk old Buddhist monk. And this old Buddhist monk was sitting, not disturbing anybody in the temple. One day, a samurai came. And the samurai, you know what samurai says to me. Hey, <laughs> you explain to me. You ex explain to me, help me to understand what is heaven and what is hell. If you not, I cut on your head. The monk looked at him and he said, hey! Japanese people. Say, hey, you stupid, ugly, smelly samurai, you dare come and ask me this question. Yeah? You will never understand heaven. Now you can go to hell. Samurai, nobody ever talked to him like that. He was so furious. I get to let him nobody talk like that. Then the monk said, You are now in hell. This is hell. And uh, Samurai was a very intelligent man. He immediately got the point. And he, he calmed himself. He came to church and said, Sorry, Master, I was very rude to you. Please forgive me. And the monk said, Welcome to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you see, heaven and hell is, this is a uh, Buddhist story. Heaven and hell are not out there. Meaning of life, you create your heaven here and now. And don't pray to the Buddha for help. The Buddha can only teach you. I cannot make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. I can't even make you angry. You have to make yourself angry. Okay? Because you, 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 you react. It's you who does it, not me. So similarly, the Buddha cannot help you. Whatever problem that you have, you understand the Buddha, what he has explained, and you apply those teachings, you make yourself happy. And the Buddha said, no one saves us but ourselves, no one can and no one can. We ourselves must walk in the path. The Buddha's merely showed, merely showed the way. The Buddha cannot save you. Okay? So, so what, what we need, basically, uh, where, where, where was I? I was at the point where we said that we all want to escape death. All right? How do we escape death? We know cannot be. It has to be. Oh, maybe one more. How can I prove to you that you can never escape death? I haven't didn't tell you this, but I'm a very good farmist. I read people's farms. You know? Look only, you can straight away tell. I'm so good, I don't look at your farm. You look at your farm. Each of you look at your farm, I read you. Okay? Now if you look carefully, yeah, we are either hand or no, no problem. Okay? You look at you got M here. Can you see the M here? Yeah? Ah, ini maknanya satu hari mesti mati. Jadi, return in your farm. Sure, we'll have one. But we don't want to die. 
meaning of life. Yeah? Since we don't want to die, why don't we want to die? We don't know the future. This is bad enough. What if it is worse? So we try everything. So how do we make sure we do not die? I will die, but I won't allow my genes to die. Therefore, I have procreation. I get married, I have children, and the children will have children, and they have children. In that way, we think we are cheating them. But the Buddha warned you, you are not cheating death, you are just going round and round in some sense. You are going round like this, you are not escaping. Okay? So, the, those three needs we all need, but are they real needs? In our ignorance, we want to continue. So, what is the meaning of life when you are ignorant? You want to continue. Even this life, you escape, either you go to heaven eternally, or hell eternally, or round and round eternally. You have three choices. All of which the Buddha says is wrong. Okay? You have to understand life differently. What is the meaning of life as the Buddha explains it? When the Buddha explains it and you look at life, you say, oh, so if this is that, then I...